Oh god! Okay. Killed Lee! <laughs> And welcome back to The Walking Dead Season 1, Episode 4, Around Every Corner. We're nearing the end of this season, and it's going to be really intense. In the last episode, we did lose Kenny's family, so Katya and Duck, unfortunately. And that was really sad. I cried. I can't believe I cried again. But now, it seems like Clementine has been talking to some random stranger, which is not a good thing. Previously on The Walking Dead. Shut up, Carly! Ugh, I've heard enough Oh yeah, you. and then Carly yeah. died, I forgot! What the the so pissed. So pissed. With us. Some people told me in the comments also, if you do take like Lily with you, she ends up stealing the RV in the end, so... Y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do we do? Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. Kenny doesn't deserve any I of that, honestly. Whether you like him or not, that's still fucked yeah. up. You need to know if they're okay, and, well, if they're not, what happened to them? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's mm -hmm. all my fault. We got a So jump. it's Ben's what? fault, too. No the way. entire situation. Ah! And we just meet Matt Omid and Christy, and Omid's leg is fucked up. Down. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need. That, that's how you know he's a major creeper, this know. person Clementine was I talking to? Come find me out. whether Lee likes it or not. Like, that's how you know he's a creeper. Pervert. Something. Oh gosh, here we go. The music is very unsettling. <laughs> Walking Dead, it's green this time. Okay, I assume we got off the train now, because we can't get any further. Yeah, we can't get any further, because we have to go into town, which isn't always a good thing, because towns and cities tend to be where most of the dead are, so this is, like, very great. So far, it's very quiet, but, you know, can't really trust that. I like how Chuck has a shovel, too. <laughs> oh, no. To be fair, Omi did not want to jump off, but, you know. Clementine, stay near us! Uh. Can't I just hold it? Uh, uh, I mean, it's not that I don't trust her, it's that I don't trust the person she's talking to, because Clementine is very gullible, because she's just a child, a right? While. But. We're getting real close to where I'll just say maybe out. later. Maybe I can Not now, Clementine. Maybe later, okay? Okay. Oh man, I don't like also making me. her upset, but His legs pretty I bad. can't give it to her. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. Okay. Um I think we should yeah, stop right. too, because like it could Kenny, get worse and then we'll be fucked up regardless. Kenny, Kenny? god damn it, I said hold up. Omid needs to take a break. Let's give him a minute. We're almost at the river. Almost to the boats. Then it won't hurt I to stop for just that. one damn minute. Kenny, come on. What the hell? Oh, shit. Great! Just ring Maybe the bell the and then we're fucked. So dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. Is it, though? What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Dude, why are Someone's they, like, there. standing there in the you middle sure? of the road? I don't understand I don't this game sometimes. I'm not gonna yell. I, I'll just I say know that what I, I saw. saw something. I'm telling you, there's someone up in that bell tower. Someone alive. If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. I thought you said that thing Even the creeper work. knows. <laughs> are you in the tower? Who the Who hell, the hell, hell is, is this? this? Hello? Hello? I said answer Yo! Me. Get out of the road, fam! Like, you're gonna die. Oh my goodness. Why are they still standing there? I hate this so much! What the hell was oh that? God. Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. 
Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? Great. Yep. Um, we're dead, guys. It tolls for thee. This is why you don't stand in the middle of the road, you just run or go somewhere safer. My god. They have been in the apocalypse for what, three months now? They should know this. Everybody, uh, run. run! He didn't really need to yell, I mean, you know, but whatever. Yo, nice. Shovel. Clementine, please stay near me. Dang, Chuck's pretty good. Oh no! Kitty! Okay, I gotta shoot, right? Oh shit. Uh. Little too close, don't you think? Ben! You okay though? No. Ben, ben help ever! her, please. <laughs> you son of a bitch! God damn it! Fuck off! Stupid! Oh my god! Hello, you're beautiful. Fucking Ben, though. No, get away from Clementine! No! <sighs> Thank you, Chuck. Get her the hell out of here. You should have got I'll it in his head, you. though. You sure? Alright. Fucking Ben, though. What the fuck? Move like, your again, get your scared, but, like, right up if you're gonna That's run away, all. at least grab Clementine. Oh my goodness. I'll give me a fucking break! Wait, where the hell is Chuck? Yo, I feel like they could have saved Chuck here. Like, they could have just got him. We gotta help him. Oh my god, don't waste your bullets! There's no time! We gotta go! Now! I'll be fine! Just go! Alright. Also, I like how no one's using a knife. That, that always bothered me too. <laughs> I'll get the door. Okay. And, oh no. It's barred up, right? Okay? Yeah. Great. Uh, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, that's gonna get infected. We've gotta oh, get him God. inside. Clean him up. All right, all right. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long Krista, before those things outside figure out where we went. You okay, know they can smell everybody blood. calm down. Lady, I ain't the one who's bleeding. Let me see if I can find us a way in. Let's, let's calm the fuck down first, because I don't think arguing is gonna help. First, I'm gonna check Clementine, because I wanna know if she's okay. She almost fucking died. You Do okay? You think the dead people saw us come back here? Are they going to find us? Uh, uh, uh no, they didn't see us. Sense. We were too fast. Because if they did, they would have, you know, out there. came here already. It sounds like they're getting closer. It's just your imagination. I'll feel safer when we're inside the house. Don't worry, Clementine. Just stay close to everybody. All right. Yo, you okay? How's he looking? I'm all right. You're not all right. You've reopened your wound. You're losing blood. He's such a guy. I'm all right. Knows <laughs> you've gotten in there. It could be infected. It could be. No offense. But you really need to work on your bedside manner. <laughs> um, we'll take care of it. Don't worry. I don't want to worry him. Don't worry. We're gonna get you fixed up in no time. Just as soon as we're inside, okay? Okay. Thanks, man. Please yeah. go and help Kenny. We need to get him inside now. I'm on it. I understand. I understand. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. Jesus. All right. Okay. Um. First of all, Ben, I have a fucking few words to talk to you, tell you about. Ben. Like, why the fuck did you just leave Clementine? Back there on the street. I know. I don't know what happened. I just froze up. Hasn't that ever happened to you? Just hear what I'm saying to you. You put that girl in danger again. It won't be walkers you have to worry about. You gotta watch I Lee's ass, huh? Good. God oh, damn Kenny's it, I can't over. believe him. I don't know, it's it's like all he can think about is finding a boat. He definitely doesn't want to talk about Katja and Duck, at least not- Well, no him. shit. Maybe we should just let him deal with it in his own way. Think we can get in through one of these windows? Man, I don't think so. Whoever owned this place had them all barred up. Yeah, looks pretty solid. I'm gonna go check things out. Alright. Like, I get, I, I get it. 
You're in a very tight situation, you froze up. It's understandable. But, I just, I don't know, if it was me in that kind of situation, I wouldn't leave Clementine behind like that, even though I would be scared. I know I would be scared, but I wouldn't leave her like that. At least grab her. Kenny, you alright? Uh, how's, how's the door coming? coming? Found a way in yet? Door's locked up tight. Too heavy to force I don't want to ask him about Katya and Duck right Maybe now. there's a better way in. Well, if there is, I ain't seeing it. Okay, um, because I feel like if I ask him, it's just gonna set him off right now because he's very sensitive at the moment, which you can't blame him, but, like, saying the wrong thing at the wrong time is just, like, it's gonna blow up in everybody's faces, and that's why I'm kind of avoiding talking about his wife you and his son. Maybe someone's still inside? Nah, we'd have heard from him by now, all the racket we're making. But whoever was here did a pretty good job fortifying it. Nice place to hold they up. They did. We could just figure out how to get in. Okay, so clearly they, they can't open the front door, but what about What's the this? pet door? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighbor there is, just there like is. That. It's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Well, shit. Every day's a school day. <laughs> Alright, so... Where's the dog? Um, the dog is dead, unfortunately. Clearly, with the grave over here. So we're gonna have to... Uh, we're gonna have to dig up the dog as fucked up as that is. Dig up the dog, because, you know, this is not fucked up enough. <laughs> hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I get, I, I get it. You. What's buried down there? Oh, um, uh, how about just it's Nothing. stay away. Clem, go over and sit with Krista and Omi, okay? But I want to just do what I say, okay? Oh, I don't mean to be like, oh, I'm no, Clementine. I didn't mean to be, like, rude to her. I just didn't want her to be near the dead thing because she might get sick or something. Oh, God, the smell. Like that. Oh, I, oh, no! I don't want to be mean to her. Why did I say that? Fuck. I can't get it off. Okay, that is not you. Okay, that's gross. Are you okay? I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you're- I said I'm fine, okay? Oh my god, I feel so bad for being mean to Clementine! God damn it, I'm sorry! Clem, I love you! Here goes nothing. Alright. And it yes! still works! God damn! Yo, Kenny, why are you yelling? Jesus. <laughs> you see anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Okay. Um. Whatever you how much do, you want to bet? Fast. The reason why the walkers are coming closer is because fucking Kenny was yelling. Be careful, man. Can't reach it. It's no good. I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can. Clementine. Clem, ah. Are you okay? Say something. I know she's a smart girl and a strong one, but I just, like, you know, I don't want anything to happen to her. Gosh. Good job, Clementine. I I, I do appreciate what good she job, did. Good job, Clem. Yeah, way to go. I did good, right? Yes, you did. You did. You did good. She's Can so we brave. Maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, we should get inside. <laughs> just make sure Looks there's okay no one in here. here. Everybody in. Omid's not looking so good. Ben, please close the door. This is a big house. Uh, sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. I'm good. I feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. Alright, that's good. Looks like there's no food, though. Which so, is understandable. What are you gonna tell us about the radio? 
tell you Yo, what. Yo, Krista, come that on. That it's working. That there's someone we just found else out on now. the end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I, I get it, but they're new. But at the same well, time, we just found out yesterday. You, Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Oh my goodness. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the exactly. dead down on top of us. You don't know who the it's hell like is that person on the other line. The river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that and then try to warn us about it? Yeah, that's a bit weird, sense right? Does anything make any more? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least yeah. the dead don't play games with you. I don't know who. It I don't is. think they're friendly either way, because he sounds too much of a creeper. Damn right. I'm telling you, they don't want us getting to the river. Maybe they want those boats all to themselves. Well, we'll see about that. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. That's what we're doing. What about Chuck, though? But, ah! Uh, but we do need to leave. We can't just stay here forever, you know what I mean? Do you? Suit okay. yourselves, and I'm not gonna wait around too long for someone else to grab up those boats. That's our ticket out of here. No, I get it, but we can't just, like, run out there. There's, like, five million walkers outside the house. Place seems secure, at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. Yeah. <sighs> Alright, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. Alright. Ben, don't do anything stupid, I swear to Can God. Can I help? What if there's another locked door? I think you've been helpful enough for one day, kiddo. Why don't you just see if Kristen Omid need anything, okay? Okay. <laughs> she wants to help. But I don't want her, like, wandering off by herself right now. Alright, let's start checking doors. Boo! No one's there. <laughs> it's just a bathroom. That's good. And it's just a closet. So we're good on this end. All clear in here. I'd like oh, to don't say that. Don't really say that. Our luck will never turn around in this place. Think about this plan of Kenny's. The guy's losing it. Look, Lee, I know he's your friend and all, but you need to be careful. That man is on the edge, and I don't know if Krista I want to be around point. when he goes over it. Kenny's solid. It's just been through a lot, that's all. I hope you're right. For all our sakes. I, I mean, I trust Kenny to a degree, but like... Floor to make sure Chris safe. has a point, he's very Thanks, dangerous right now. Just think about Sasha from the TV show. That's kind of the level Kenny's at right now. Holding up okay? I hope this house is safe. Have you checked all the rooms to make sure? No, but I'll take care of it. Jesus! <laughs> Is that a broom? Yeah. What or happened? A mop. It's nothing. Just uh, nothing. <laughs> Just a mop. It's all good. Well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? All right, Omid's passed out. Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't Do we not have any, like, any antibiotics or anything? Around. Nah, just some whiskey. Couldn't that clean the wound? Or am I wrong? She knows I don't who know. the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Um, yeah, Clement, you can tell Go us. Ahead, it's okay. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? Mm. I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, oh, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee? What? Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Great. But... What, what we were talking about Kenny's earlier, like, Chris is right, that person is not alright. Because Clementine's very, you know, gullible. 
I can't get him to come down. All right, let's see how Ken's doing. All right, Ken? Ken, Ken you want to come down and, and talk to your best friend, Lee? Bromance? Ken? Can you... Dude, are you Can... okay? You okay, man? Jesus, what the hell is that? Oh my god. It's the kid who, in the picture we saw earlier. Kinda looks like Duck, don't he? It's just a kid. What the hell happened to him? Ain't nothing on him. Guess he must have been hiding out up here. Starved to death. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I can. Ah, God damn it. Couldn't do it before. Can't do it now. No, you know what? It's okay, I'll take care of it. You I need to get out of here. This, man. I'll take care of it. Like I did before. Are you it's sure? okay, Kenny. Yeah, it's fine. I guess we'll find out. Poor kid must have tried to hide out up here until he stopped. How does he death. still have hair, though? Am I Spend like, I don't know. Right. I hadn't found her when I did. Don't think her about her like that. Okay, I don't want to use the gun because we'll draw noise when we waste bullets, so I gotta use the wrench that we have. But. Uh, Ken, get out of here, please! Why are you staying? I'm sorry. All right, that's it. Poor kid. We should bury him. Yeah. I'll take care of it. Oh God! Uh, you're not gonna wrap his body or something? Okay, you know I. Just, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just. I'm just saying because it's like. Gross. God damn it. Ah, the apocalypse is so fucked up. Now we're just burying children. I don't know how Lee is carrying this kid like this. It's very disgusting. And I don't understand how he, I'm sorry, I'm like ruining like the sad moment, but I don't understand how he still has hair and how his socks are still on. But anyway, let's put the kid here with his dog. Alright, there you go. We have to dig- um, oh no, and then Clementine is like looking- ugh. Clem. Has anyone actually let Kenny, like, you know, shoot his son or shoot this kid or anything like that? Because I, I, I know that many playthroughs I've seen, majority of people have let Lee do everything. I don't know if anyone has actually let Kenny do it. Just really cur curious, if anyone's watching this and you've played it, have you let Kenny do all the killing for for these situations? Because I, I just feel like, uh, I, I can never let Kenny do it, I don't know. Oh god! <sighs> Forgot about that. <laughs> Jesus. Ew, when he's just like standing there watching hey! him. Hey! I'm not gonna say anything because if you start yelling, you're gonna like. You know what I mean? Lee, what's going on? It's a fucking dude watching us. Fucking creepy. I saw someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No, too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good it's enough look. It's a dude. Look. What it's does a dude. it matter? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Kenny? 
I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Some we guy. saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. Yo, why is we everybody yelling? <laughs> I, a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. I think we should Me go. Either. Walkers are one thing. But the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. All right, that's it. We stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down At to the river. At this point, I do agree with Kenny. I don't think we should stay. I don't stay. know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. I agree I'm with Kenny. Kid. I know this is really Sooner bad. We get the hell out of here, the better. Well, then, hell, what are we waiting for? I'll go get my stuff. No, Ben, you'll only slow us down. Lee and I can go scout the river. I agree with that because Ben is very out. like. You stay behind with Krista and Omid. Wait. Can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Ah, it's just stay here. I, I Please. Think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. I need you to watch out for Omid and Krista. Help them get ready to move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. It is I know, true, it's but... just this once. Sometimes we all have to put aside what we want for the good of the group. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back before you know it, okay? Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll I just, out. I think it's better that way, too, it's because, like, needs anything. we're gonna be, like, fast-paced moving throughout the so town. you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? You, you have, like, a lot of, like, making up to do, dude, alright? You have to protect Clementine, you dick. Is, I need you to stay here and keep an eye on Clementine. I can do that. Well, just so we're clear. While I'm gone, you can do that. Or anyone tries to get inside this house, you shoot him. Don't even think twice about it. Understand? I got no problem shooting walkers. Did you hear what I said? Anything or anyone? Good. No, he doesn't. He can't even shoot walkers at this point. Oh my goodness. But I'm gonna take the chance to trust fucking Ben because we have no choice right now. All right, bromance. Here we go. <laughs> Infected. What does that mean? Also, I, I, I noticed, I didn't notice the first time I played, but there's like symbols along the doors. Did you guys see that when we were walking into town? There's like a V and then like a bunch of numbers like around it. Uh... Yeah, that stuff. You see that? Um... You think they're okay at the house? Again, I don't want to talk about Katya and Doug. Anyone can be these days, I guess. I just hate leaving Clementine alone. As if walkers weren't bad enough, now we got this crazy motherfucker on the radio stalking us. Won't be a problem once we get out on the water. River's just a few blocks up ahead. Alright. Great! bitch! That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. I like- once again, I love how they're standing in the middle of the street out in the open. What in the hell is going on? Are they gone? Maybe they're doing us a favor. You know why? It makes sense that they would be trying to distract us. Maybe whoever's ringing that is just trying to distract. You know what I mean? In this situation, diversion. whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. <laughs> Good one. Hmm. Let's keep moving. Okay. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... What? Oh my god. Now there's no fucking boat. There's gotta be a boat. There's gotta be. Ah, uh, shit. Ah, uh, shit. I'm not gonna say anything. Uh, because I feel like if I said anything, you would just piss Kenny off even more. This is the only thing he was looking forward to, you know what I mean? And to know that, like, that... 
dream is essentially gone, it just makes it even worse. And Kenny's just about to dive off the cliff that he is on because he lost his family. Now there's no fucking boat. Well, this there's... one might still be salvageable. Is it? Seriously? You got a better fucking idea. I, I don't. I don't mean to be like. Okay, you know what? All right. I'll what check. Are the... <laughs> you look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I didn't mean to be rude to Clem. I didn't mean to be rude to Kenny. What the to. fuck? See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Ew! What is that? Wait, can I look at this before I go over there? That's that's some Negan level fucked up this right is there. Be some kind of warning? We'll do something like this. Yeah. I'm not gonna shoot them because that's very pointless, but that just reminds me so much of fucking Negan in the Saviors. Um, the whole like walker pit that he has in the middle of his uh, compound and shit. Oh, that's what it reminds me of. Anyway, let's look at the telescope. Great. Needs a quarter to work. Locked. Can we just bust it? Yeah, we can. Just bust it open. That totally did not make a lot of noise. Fuck! What? What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Damn Hulls it. crack beneath the water line while someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? What the? What the hell is that? Yeah, I don't know, dude. A fate worse than death. Okay, let's see if we can find anything. So there's a building. Um, no sign of any boats down there. No boats. Uh, building. Bed, like every other place in this city. Plenty of docks. No boats. There is a boat over there, but it's crashed. So uh, Nothing but water. Not a boat to be seen. Ooh, hello! There's a person! What the hell? The fuck? Kind of, kind of a badass though, if you can't remember. Get down! Get down. They're coming this way. Yep. It's a woman! Why the hell are we hiding? She's so like Laura Croft climbing down with the pickaxe. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? Uh, maybe. Sure. Sounds like a plan. Okay. I mean, at you this point, we kind of have to. You All know what I mean? Side, cover your flank. We'll come I don't want to cause trouble, but taken by surprise. We don't know who this person is, so we kind of have to find out. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. Kenny! We don't want to shoot the guy in the face, we just want to talk. Okay, gonna talk to the nice man, because they clearly cannot tell that this person is a woman, but... <laughs> um... Hello? What the... Alright. <gasps> Oh! Oh, god damn it, I missed! Ah, oh, Lee's face! Oh. oh shit. Kenny, where are you? No! <gasps> Clem! Clem? Please, don't hurt him! Did she just come out here all by herself? You're not from Crawford. <laughs> I like at least so shocked that it's a woman. Um, 
You're not the guy on the radio. Uh, have you been, been following, following us? us? Following you? Kenny? No, 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 Kenny, Kenny, no. Uh, Kenny, don't. Kenny, don't! God damn it, that was just no, a pretty good noise. Fuck! Who the hell are you people? Yo, wow, how about we just talk about this later? Um Everyone just calm down. I'll calm down once she tells me who the fuck she is. Back off, asshole. The name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. We're not looking for any trouble. Hi. <laughs> oh, Clementine, she's so cute. But can really we please stop standing her, in the middle you? of the street, all right? They already know. Make it. No. I'm from Macon. Kenny here's from Florida. She didn't ask for our life stories, Lee. I, What's I'm the just, deal with this Crawford? I'm just trying to confirm that we're not from Crawford. You God sure damn it, Ken. You wanna know? When everything started going to shit, some people Why are they... together and sealed God off. God damn it, I know I keep saying this, but like, the gun went off, like... Stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero-tolerance policy for anyone who won't or can't live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Mm. Not anymore. So it's a Negan situation once again. What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived, while the rest of the world went to shit around them. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. Um. What exactly did Crawford do with all these burdens? What happened to them? Well, you met some of them already. Ah, oh, that's messed up, dude. Fuck me. Yeah. Anyone who got sick, anyone too old, anyone they figured wasn't strong enough to survive. They just threw them, them there, huh? Those people were just mouths to feed, a drain on their precious resources. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. How messed up if Clementine's parents were in there, in Crawford? Because they're not elderly or anything, so... Uh, Clementine, what are you doing here? How'd you get out of the house? Well, Mead started getting really sick. Krista and Ben had to take him upstairs. I didn't just want to sit around there. I wanted to come help. I told you we didn't need any help. Oh, um, I don't mean to... Uh, once again, I don't mean to be mean really? to her. It's just because... Because if it weren't for her showing up when she did, I would have beaten your brains out. That's true. That's debatable. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. Uh, ring the bells. You know who's been ringing those it's bells obviously her. Time? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it, Lee. I knew she was the one who's been following us, fucking with us. Kenny, Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa! Before I jam it straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy. Remember? Yeah. Well, whoever you are. Ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me mm -hmm. some time to scavenge the areas they cleared out. She's really smart for geeks. doing that. Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. <laughs> That's pretty smart with the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast. Get in and out before they start I really to like back. Molly. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? We're looking for a boat. Came down here looking for a Once boat. again, you have Hoping to be honest in this kind of situation. You can tell safe. right away who are the asses yeah, and who are not. good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. Right. There's gotta be something. 
If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! So that means we Fuck. just have to get into hey, Crawford, Laura, right? You want to keep your voice down? Thank you! Finally! Someone who has a brain! <laughs> Shoot. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before... Great. Just they could have left and talked somewhere else, but you know. Uh... Isn't that the... The way we came. Fuck. Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Mommy, is there a... I like how she just leaves us. Wow, alright. Is there another way out of here? Don't know, don't care. Okay, so what the then. hell are we supposed to do? I refer you to my previous answer. But you have to help us, please! You can't deny Clementine! Ugh, come yeah. on, <laughs> I just want her to be safe. Oh my god. Oh, fuck me. Can he come get on, up come there? Come on, hurry! One good jump. Oh shit, he can't jump that high. Come on, come on, Lee. I could say something right now, but it'd be really racist, so I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Hurry! Oh my god. Get on the dumpster, fam. Oh no. Um, uh, we're fucked. Come on, Lee. Get your ass out of there. Alright, bye, everybody. Uh, can't get it open. Here, use that to pry it open. Thanks. Okay, I really don't like the music right now. <laughs> God damn it! All right, see ya. Ugh. Oh, it's alright, Clem. We're you know I'm not surprised that they're not falling down into the hole. They should, right? Oh. All right, there we go. <laughs> That's gross. Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet uh, you there. Cle I know I know he's trying to not make sure Clementine doesn't worry, but he shouldn't be yelling once again, like Molly said earlier. <laughs> Shit. Oh, fuck. Okay, yeah, we're not gonna go that way. We're just gonna Shit run dude run Run <gasps> Chuck Oh no Chuck I forgot about it. He was down here. Oh no Go 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 No oh. Must have tried to hide out down here. Poor bastard. Yo, he didn't deserve that. Chuck was actually really mm -hmm. nice. I really liked him. Last one for himself. Uh, you deserve better, old man. He did. All right, we gotta kill this one. Shit. All right, just gonna axe this one in the head, and then that we can be on our way. Oh my god, fuck! Jesus Christ! <laughs> that actually scared me! Oh my god. Oh no no! Don't use it! Shit! Fuck! I wasn't thinking! Don't use the gun! God damn it! Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. I am such a fucking idiot. And I used the gun again. What is wrong with me today? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay. We just need to get up here. What the hell? Come on, Lee! Jesus! I can't believe I used the gun. What the heck? Oh my god. Yeah, they totally don't know that we went in here, but whatever. Fallout shelter. 
crawl out through the fall. Okay, I'm gonna get copyright if I start singing. <laughs> well, there's a lot of food in here. Holy crap. So, it should be safe to go in here, right? Like, totally no one's gonna be here, right? Um, hi! Who are you? Oh, God. I, I don't want any trouble. It's all right. It's okay. I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave. Okay. Right now. That's Look, fine. I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here. Are you from Crawford? How do you they know that? Like I, don't, I don't like that lady. How I do you know. know that? Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I, I think I, you better start talking. We're looking for a Came boat, here dude. With a small group hoping to find a boat. We just want to get out of here. How about you just let me go? Ain't no boats around here. Crawford took everything. Yeah, I heard. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. This lady! Hey, Vernon, what do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm not, dude. I'm not. I'm not from Crawford, but I saw what they did up there made me sick. I'm not like them, and I don't think you are either. I think you're a good man. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. Okay, you're not gonna shoot, fam. It's alright. He would have done it by it's now, okay. you know what I mean? Vernon, what the hell are you doing? Vernon! I'm not gonna shoot him. Relax, okay? Relax. I'm not just take your you. gun, though. <laughs> you're really not from Crawford? No, I'm really not. Well, we are, or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place, you know, started weeding out the sick and the old so the perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. Mm -hmm. No room for weakness. So that doesn't seem very smart either, you know what I mean? Race. You don't look that old, so you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. Oh. We're in remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide That's from them down up. here. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? The morgue? Yeah. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. How did you find your way down here? Well, walkers. A few of us got boxed in by walkers up on the street. Came down here trying to get away. Now I just want to get out of here and get back to my own people. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Well, honest, obviously, right? Um, can you show me the way back? Those sewers are like a damn maze. Any chance you could help me find my way back? Look, I'd like to help you, but we've all got our own problems. You know, I tried, you know what I mean? <laughs> so... Care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? Bitch, no one was talking to you. I have to get back Look, to Clementine. I'm sorry if I scared you. I just want to get back to my people. Back to Clementine. She's your daughter? Not gonna lie, I no. can't lie. She lost her real parents. I'm doing what I can. You're not seriously considering going with him. It's all right, Bree. I had a daughter, too. Lost her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just. That's how you know this guy's a nice person. Happened to someone else. All right. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Let's go. All right. Let's let's go. We'll be fine. I don't, I still don't like that lady though. Big mouth. God. All right. Clementine. Where is Clem? she? Oh, Molly? Oh, hey, you made it back. Hey. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. Who's the fossil? <laughs> He's a doctor. Where's Clementine? Where's Clementine? <laughs> She's around here somewhere. Relax. I got her in Sorry, I don't mean to avoid season. it. I just say Clementine's You're like welcome, number one priority. Thank you. 
I think you have something that belongs to me. Yes. Thank you for letting me use it, Molly. Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Shit, Come we have a doctor, this. though. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? Please? You have to help us. Please. Come on, dude. I'll see what I can do. Yes! Take me to him. Yay! Finally, Omid will be okay. Omid, honey, you're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. Okay, I'm sure that's fair you enough. Have more things of your own to attend to. That's all right. You you do your thing. I understand. A lot of pressure. People are just staring at him. You know what I mean. So we gotta look for Clementine anyway. Here. I I'm very I'm very happy that Clementine is able to take care of herself. Cause I mean she ended up on the street by herself. You know what I mean? Looking for Lee and stuff. So. And she's nine. Hello. Like, her character still amazes me, and I love it. Hey, Molly. What are you doing? Oh, uh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Fair enough. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked whoa, around? Whoa, whoa. Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? Whoa, Lee, you didn't need to yell at her. My goodness. Molly? I told you, that girl isn't with me. Go ask your buddies and quit I, I bothering just, me. I just, okay, jeez. Fucking wanted to talk, goddamn. Oh, hey, you made it back. Oh, I need fucking Good job. Drink. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. Oh, you wanna throw down again like back on the train? Cause I fight better when I'm shit-faced. Kenny, take it hey, easy. Take it easy. Think you've had enough. To hell with you! Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Exactly. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked! God damn it. Molly and Ben, you there's little shit! You're supposed to be watching Clementine! Back. No way out. We got walkers all around us. That crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? Alright, fine. You drink. Whatever. You, little bitch, are supposed to be taking care of Clementine. Don't do it, Ben. Have either of you seen Clementine? Damn uh, if I know. This group is like falling apart. Oh my god. Ben, I gave you one job when I left here. Take care of Clementine. Then exactly. she shows up out on River Street looking for me. What the hell happened? Hey, don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse, and Krista asked me to help. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. That's not good enough, you idiot! She was frantic, and things got kind of crazy. I told Clementine to stay put. What else could I do? Don't be sorry. Just tell me where the hell she is now. I think she went out to play in the backyard. On her own. Dude. With no one watching her? Man, will you get off my back? She's fine out there. I know she's, she's capable, but still. Ben, you have a responsibility to look look after her, you know what I mean? This fucking- Oh my Clementine? god, this fucking kid, I swear. Clementine! Clem, at least stop yelling, Jesus. The house is moving, the- <laughs> <laughs> the garage. <laughs> or the shed, whatever. Alright, um... Hello? <gasps> Clementine! <laughs> oh my god. What were you doing in there? What were you doing in there? Exploring? And look! Look what I found!
Once again, Clementine is the smartest one out of the group. <laughs> no one th thought to look into the shed, and she was the only one who thought of it. I'm gonna say holy shit, I don't care. Holy shit. Swear. <laughs> look, Ken, now you don't even get shed faced anymore. We have a boat. Yay! All right. Things are starting to look up. Once again, hopefully this won't end in a disaster. Right? <laughs> Is Omid okay? Omid's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Shit. Running a fever. Well, at least he did his best, like, to clean the wound, at least. Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. All right, Why sorry. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. All right. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Yeah, it is. I agree. It's okay. Well? You want the good news or the bad news? Tell me the bad one, just get, get out of the, the way. the bad news out of the way first. Bad news is, she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. Damn it. So what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Crawford. Crawford is the only place that will have that shit. Sounds like Crawford is the one place that has everything we need. Maybe we should try there. That Why is he looking at me like that? Surely we have to try. If there are people left in this city who are exactly. still alive, Thank who you. still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man, might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. Exactly. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because uh, from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. We got a Metal Gear it. That's sneak in. Mildly. There's got to be some way we can sneak in there undetected. There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. We do. Lee's pocket that fits everything for some reason. <laughs> I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's actually not the worst idea I've ever heard. I mean, it's close, but I don't know. Maybe the best special we got. I thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going right. to Crawford? Anyone Everyone okay with it? Problem with this plan? Because we're I want to ask the group, because we need to involve to everybody. Man, I don't know. Oh my god. I don't know ben. about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I will yeah. let my people know. I agree we have to do that, but that's a little dangerous too. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. All right. <laughs> I told you to stay. <laughs> Clementine. <laughs> How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? Is what going to be dangerous? Crawford. Oh. Yeah, I have to be honest with her. I can't lie to you, Cliff. Yeah, it's going to be dangerous, but it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better and get the mm -hmm. boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I don't 
don't want anyone else to die. Oh, yeah, I know. I, I don't want anyone else to die either. Neither do I. Neither do I, Clem. But sometimes we have to take that kind of risk. Yeah. We have no choice. This is the only way, right? So we have to risk I guess it. I should go get ready. Uh, say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this. And you said I'm a big help, remember? Of course you are. Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Yeah, you're right. Okay. Sorry, I gotta pause because I need to discuss this. Clementine. Bringing Clementine with us th to this mission. Like, yes, it's dangerous because we don't even know what, what is there. And if, if the people find out that we have a child, they'll immediately kill us. And in my personal opinion, I feel like bringing Clementine along is their best option right now. Because look how well that ended up when we left her with Ben. Ben didn't fucking take care of her and just left her there. And then she ended up on the street for no reason. Wasn't even watching her even when she was playing in the backyard either. So I feel like taking Clementine is a better idea because she is pretty smart. She knows things. Like she finds things more rather than the adults. Like the adults don't notice some stuff. So I, th I think it's best to take Clementine with us. That's just me though. Where I'm going, it's just too dangerous. For children especially. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. Yeah. Can't I come with you? She's so cute too. Like, how can you deny that face? <laughs> like, I'm bringing her with me. I am. I don't care because I, I think it's more dangerous to leave her by herself here. Ben didn't fucking take care of her, so. Okay. You can come. But you have to promise to stay quiet. And do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready. <laughs> She's so excited. But at the same time, this is kind of like a learning experience for her too. Just to like defend herself and know what to do if Lee wasn't around. You know what I mean? Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Yes, yeah, that's, that's probably a nice. good idea. Can I talk to you a minute? What's up? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. Okay. So? So, we're gonna have a capacity problem. Boat that size ain't gonna hold more than five people. Even with one of them a kid. Me, you, Clem, Krista, Omi, Ben, Polly. Assuming uh -oh. everyone makes it back alive, that's still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, we're gonna have to make a decision. You're not serious. Look, I'm just saying, if we want the best chance of... Oh, no! And then she, he brought the fucking lady that I don't like. <laughs> Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. Um, how? Help us how? I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. With her help, we're in and out faster. Anyone have a problem with that? I guess At not. this point, no. I still don't like for? her, though. Let's get moving. Hold up just a sec. You ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, Are you ready? Hold on a minute. <laughs> We're not taking her with us. We hey, man. She like can help us. Don't fucking Crawford underestimate is. Clementine. If you take her in there and they find her... This little girl's not just excess baggage. She's gotten us out of a tight spot more than once. She's coming. Deal with it. Yeah, you bitch. Man. Let's move out. <laughs> Clementine's really smart. Freaking Ben, goddammit. So Omi is staying in the house by himself. I hope all means okay. <laughs> this should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. All right. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. <sighs> okay. Stay quiet. Here we go. We stay hidden and we stay together. We find what we need and we get the hell out this, of the This totally won't go there. wrong, right? <laughs> and that part about staying close, that goes double for you. <laughs> Clementine. She's so cute. Alright. Okay, so no one's up here, right? Can't get a good look above with the cover on. Uh, 
Hello? Let's go. Okay, that's weird. There's no one here right now, but... I don't know why the marker's doing that again. <laughs> Where is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. Exactly. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange is all. I think I see one over there by the door. Shit. He even has like a skull okay. in his jacket? What an asshole. <laughs> I'm trying to take you out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. All right, here we go. Gonna check out this jackass. All right, just gonna sneak on behind him and just hit him in the head. Hey, dude. What the fuck? Oh, great, they're dead. Whoa. Everybody's dead. Oh, no. What the fuck is a walker doing inside here? Get inside, Dude, fast! Dude, run! And why are you yelling? Oh my goodness. That should be the title of this video. Why are you yelling? <laughs> okay. This isn't good. Fuck. Fuck! Do you oh, Clem is scared! I, uh, I have no idea. I don't want to scare Clem. Your guess is as good as mine. Or Ben at, at this point. Oh no, I can scare Clementine, shit! Oh god. What the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Yeah, they oh, fell. Man, we are so screwed. Ben, shut up. No, this is good. Uh, no, he's right. He, he is right, though. Vernon's right. We can deal with walkers easier than armed guards. I agree. So long as we don't let him box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many- Okay, of Ben has a there? point there. No. It's you true. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? But Ben, you gotta focus. This is way better than armed guards. This is at least that way. way. We don't have to fight with guns. Like, the enemy doesn't have guns, so... I got a bad feeling about this. I know, dude. I know. Okay, so I'm assuming the X's on the door means don't go in there, right? Yep. Just keep moving. Yeah, I agree with Molly. We just need to get the stuff and get out. I don't know why everybody's just staring at the door. <laughs> Here. Hello? Is anyone in there? Hello? It's okay. Everybody in. Okay, good. It's a classroom. Well, yeah, they're in a university, right? So... Oh man, this is the daycare part of the university, isn't it? Mm. Figures. <sighs> Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. How are how how okay, fucking so ironic? Where do we start? That looking? it's this room. Here. Just give me a sec. Oh, it's the layout of the whole f floor. All right. First things first. Battery. Any idea Just so Kenny will get off our backs. Maybe at the auto shop. There used to be one in the alley outside the fire escape. All right. Yep. It's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Okay. Medicine, second thing. Where would be the best place to look for medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? 
just makes sense, doesn't it? What about the fuel? She knows Where something. should I start looking? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Okay. Okay. I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. Mm -hmm. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. Yeah. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us. Hey, a Molly girl, you want to come I'll with go me? With you. Yeah. Watch your back. <laughs> okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. All right. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. What about me? What can I do? You're gonna help Ben. <laughs> I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? Oh, okay. <laughs> You're taking care of Ben That's this time, you. Clementine. Because honestly, she would probably do a better idea. Like, a better job at it than fucking Ben did. Okay, let's go fucking do this. I don't know why Lee keeps, like, popping out of the ground like that. Molly? This must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. But where the hell is Molly? I just love the fact that she just ditched Molly, us. You out here? Okay, that shadow just freaked me out. Like, why? <laughs> Uh, oh, hey. Yeah, that, that looks fine, right? It looks safe enough. Dang, he didn't even break his legs or anything? Okay, well. <laughs> Alright. Damn, it's jammed tight. Now what? Jesus! <laughs> that legit scared me again! Leave God him. damn it, what? He's mine. Okay, whoa, alright. Um Alright, I'm not gonna say anything. She's really pissed, so Molly? All right, Molly. you do your thing. What? Um, I think you got him. I think you got him. One more. Okay. <sighs> yep. It's definitely dead. He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe. Yeah. Well, he ain't shit now. Did you find us a way in? Yeah, yeah. it's just jammed. But the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. Nice. Oh yeah. That'll work. Um God damn it. It's probably because Molly was making a lot of noise by killing that guy, right? Stop staring at them, just do it! Shit. Oh god damn it. Come on! Oh, uh, okay, uh, 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 here we go. Alright, it's getting, uh, yep, yep, this is good. Ah, oh, that guy wasn't dead! <laughs> Really? They didn't see us? <laughs> Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Okay. No and power. it's not working. Amazing. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. Something you need? 
Can I borrow your hook? Oh wait. Um, about the alleyway when you were beating what was that all guy. That about back there. He came at me up on that rooftop. Tried to take a bite out of me, so I took care of business. What? You got a problem with me killing geeks? No, it's uh, just that you were just like. It just seemed like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Hey, you never really know when those things are all the way dead. You didn't even kill the guy either. Sure. Like, look, you want to get this battery or not? Time's wasted. Okay, yeah, give me the fucking hook thing. Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I. Have <laughs> she named it. Together. Hilda. That's what I call her. Don't judge. Uh, I'm not judging. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. Thank you very much, Molly. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. Nope, we're just gonna cut this hose. Ah, there we go. Alright. I did. And now it's coming down. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Shit. <laughs> That's probably not good. No, no shit! No. Oh my god. I'll try to hold him off. Hurry! Yep. There's the battery. Finally, something goes right. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Uh, we just need to take this off. Uh, we just need to take this off. Take that off. Got that one off. All right, Lee. Don't you don't need to announce everything. It's off. All right, cool. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Shit. Put it in here. I'll carry it. Okay, follow me. All right. Move your ass! Alright, I'm trying, goddammit! Hurry up! Oh my god. Now we're screwed. This is totally like season two. <laughs> Skylight. Okay. It's shut. Shoot it out! Are you serious? Gonna waste a fucking bullet. Could have like thrown something or I don't know. You know, for some reason, I was expecting Molly to be like, see ya! <laughs> and be like, just joking. Okay, so, now we're on a roof. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. He wasn't complaining, though. He was just saying they're on the roof. Molly's a badass, though. You can't lie. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump! Um, a little bit. Uh, chicken? What did you call me? Well, now that you mentioned <laughs> Oh god, oh god, oh god. Whew, alright. Lee, Lee could jump to the next building, but he couldn't jump earlier when, when they were trying to get out of the alleyway when he went to the sewers. Oh my god. Alright, we made it back to the school. Thank goodness. Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. What? Wait, you still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! <laughs> I love Molly. <laughs> Damn it, what the hell is she doing? Let her do her own thing, she'll be fine. Son. Little help! What? Little help here! Oh god. Oh no! Ah! Dude, his head is wedged in! Doors won't close all the way! Lee, do something! Really? Well, I mean, we have no choice, right? We got it. Brace the door with something. Oh my goodness. Fuck. Fuck off, dude. Ah. Okay. That will hold, right? That's That'll hold. that's fine. It damn well better. Glass door. That will hold too. There's so many of them. You got the fuel. Let's not start high fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give us a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. Sure. I like how they just casually walk off like nothing happened. <laughs> Clem? Oh, okay. You're back! Yeah, and we made out pretty good, too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. <laughs> well, at least Ben's Did trying. Get that battery yet? Yeah, fucking Molly yeah, took off, though. Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Alright, I want to see Clem. Are you okay? Where is she? <laughs> Look at her sitting at the desk. So cute. You okay, Clem? Yeah. What's wrong? This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it. 
being in That's school. not weird. I understand. It's not weird at all. So do I. But you haven't been in school since forever. <laughs> hey, I'm not that old. And I used to be a teacher, remember? American history. Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. Same. She'll be fine. She's pretty tough. Yeah, she's a badass, so she'll be okay. Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? Uh, sure, Clementine. Yeah. It may take a while, but yeah. I don't okay. know if they would but ever you, find a cure for the walkers, so. honestly. That's good. You hold on to that hope. But I want her to believe Don't that it's possible. Take away. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? Kenny, you're such... <laughs> Oh my god. No, wait. What? There is something you can help me with. What's up? Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. Okay. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? Yeah. And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. No! Come on. Ben, no! This again? It's my fault Duck and Katya got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry some? No, like, like I get it. You need, you do need to tell him eventually, but right now is not the not a good time. Are you fucking nuts, dude? Ben, no offense, but have you lost your motherfucking <laughs> mind? <laughs> Kenny's barely hanging on. You tell him you're to blame. I don't even want to think about what he might do. I know. I've thought about that, but I don't know how much longer I can keep looking him in the eye. I feel like I'm lying to him by not telling I'm him. telling you, man, it's a bad No, idea. I get it, but just right we, now, till at we, least till we get the boat, okay you can tell him. With somebody's blood on your hands, but that's not who I am. No, it's not about that, dude. It never happened. Look, we need Kenny. We need him to hold his shit together. Exactly. Get out you can tell him after we get out of here. Keep this to yourself, for the good of everyone. You hear me? Ben, please do not fuck this up again. I hear you. I'm going to get back to this. Yeah, mm-hmm. You hear me, but is it going through your damn brain right now? Oh! <gasps> Shit. Oh! Okay, hello. Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there. No, really? We have to shoot them? God damn it. Someone really should invest in like a knife or like an axe or something. Just saying. Oh god! Okay. Killed Lee! <laughs> Fuck! Oh god. Ah! Fuck. <laughs> Shit, I thought I almost killed him again. Oh my god. Hey, it's just me, dude. What the hell happened? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in yeah, here. Yeah, but how did they get in here, though? The place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. Okay. I took care of them. What about the mids? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Great. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe. Locked up tight. Uh, uh, can we look Maybe elsewhere? We should try looking somewhere else for medicine. In Crawford? This place is too overrun. No, that safe is our best chance. All right. Yeah, it'd be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. It's true. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. All right. There's a lot of blood on the floor here, so that's not exactly good. What's this on the floor? A sonogram. It's a sonogram. Anna Correa. There's a tape. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? Vernon, 
Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look familiar, this guy? examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. Yo, that's fucked up. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this, but I need you to come back no later than tomorrow, or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Like, I get it. Like, she has the right to have a child. It's just, in my opinion, I wouldn't want a child in the apocalypse. You know what I mean? Damn it. We almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers oh, out in the alley Oh, god damn. We gotta go back shop. to that guy, don't maybe we? Maybe you should search it. See what he's got on him. Jesus Christ, okay. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, okay, the TV just fell on his head. That's fine. <laughs> just gonna stomp your head in. Ew. I don't like the crunching sound it makes. <laughs> All right, we got the second tape. Perfect. This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Logan. This must have been his locker. Because the name on the doctor was Logan, right? So. Another tape. Hmm. Safe combination has got to be on one of these. All right, so that gives us a double chance to find the fucking code. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. That's kind of fucked. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living? If this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. There you go. You know what I don't get? No. Why would she stab the doctor? No. And she's shooting out the place. You can hear the gunshots. I don't get that. I really don't get that part. I think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. <sighs> Fucking lunatic. Krista, are you okay? <laughs> Krista, are you alright? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. Okay. Alright. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. But I don't get why would you stab the doctor and shoot up the place? If I were, I would just fucking business. leave. You know what I mean? Like Jesus. Morphine. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. All right, that's good. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. Thank you. you no, know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds from me. That's all I care about. Okay. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. All right. Ew! Listen, as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? 
Orson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die, or she'll start showing symptoms, and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Ah, oh, Molly. So she was sleeping with the doctor so that he would give her medicine for her sister. Well, shit. No wonder she was so fucking pissed at him. Oh, hey. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. <laughs> I really love her. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I love her. I love her so much. Here you go. Thank you. Jesus. Even though it's not a time to joke about things right now. What's Did he that? just put the battery in his pocket Nothing. again? <laughs> um, I know you're from Crawford, dude. You can quit with the act, Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? No one. I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to that's you. That's true. Even if she did So what? I don't owe you anything. Yeah. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth. Are we really gonna do this now? Why not? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place, earn their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, mm. and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret, kept her safe for as long as I could, but in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system So wait, did they just throw anything her was sister better out? Than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister oh, away. Oh, what the fuck? They did. Oh my god. This is all I have left of her. Oh, she went to go get the picture of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. No, I understand. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay. It's okay, Molly. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? Huh? I think that's our cue to get the Oh my god, of... we're about to die, aren't we? Okay, good. Good, I'm glad. Yo, where's the axe? Okay, we're fucked. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Whoa, oh, Jesus! Shit. Ben, sorry, sorry. Fuck you, I Ben! I spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Yo. Did you leave Clementine alone? No, Kenny's with okay. her. We still can't open that armory door. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found ben, this. Ben, you stupid idiot! Uh, ben? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh, no. Ben, no! Ben, Shit. why? Why do you do this, Ben? Why? Why is he like this? Oh my god. Yo, Molly's such a badass, dude. Holy shit. Oh my god. Lee! Shoot this fucker! Fuck! Thanks. Yeah, of course. What? It wasn't me! Oh. Going, kid. Nice shot. Thanks. It's Clementine! Holy crap, that's so cool. That's never happened to me before when I played this game. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh shit. That ought to hold him. Sir, but now how do we get out? Uh, Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Ben, you fucking idiot. Come on, damn you! Why is he why is he always like this? Oh my god. Alright. We better start hacking away at the door though. Because it's my fault, all my fault. The hell's he babbling about? Ben, we no! talked about this. No. Please Wait, don't. I wanna know what he meant. Please don't. What do you mean this is all your fault? Penny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. I opened the door. I let them in. Ben, we don't have time for this now. I'm sorry, Lee. I can't do this anymore. He's got a right to know. Oh my god. Know what? 
It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Dude! Wait a minute. What are you saying? Oh, shit. It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... Oh my god, okay, yep, yeah, this is not good. Um, kick his ass later. How about that? Just kick whatever. <laughs> we need to get out of here. You should kick his ass, but now's not the time. We gotta focus on getting out of here. You little piss ant! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child? You gotta both fucking kill! Kenny, listen to me. You can whoop his skinny little ass <laughs> Oh my god, Lee. Go. Like, I don't, I don't want them to fight, of course, nice group you got but... Here. Not the time, Molly. But I don't- if this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shit we're, we're talking about this later, can we just get out, please? Fucking rot! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's going okay. to be. Okay! The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Ah, uh, goddammit. Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well, but all I want to do is get Damn, back to me. damn, Krista, Krista does not give a Wait, fuck. Don't I get a vote? Um, of course, Clementine, of course but why do. are we discussing this now? It's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. <laughs> Which is so, oh my On god. second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? Uh, 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 uh. Ben stays with us. I've seen enough of Crawford to know that becoming like Ben like, is I the know beginning he did of the something end. wrong, and I, I, I don't like ben him. Stays with us. But Ben needs to stay too, because he's still part of our group, regardless. You know what, what I mean? What about the rest of us? Don't we get a second? <laughs> Bitch, you're not part of the group, all right? <laughs> you know what? I don't really care about her. It's, it's okay. I didn't really like her anyway. Ew! Hey. Ew! Now can we go? Ew! Damn right, Vernon. Come on. Don't we get a vote, bitch? You weren't in the group. I can't believe she said that. <laughs> uh oh, the door doesn't close. The lock was busted. Great, just fucking great. Come on, there's got to be a way out down here. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Party in here? Fuck! Oh my god. It's not gonna hold. Back upstairs. Shit, what do we do? Is that dude dead? Lee, look! Alright, cool. That's nice, Kenny. Let's get out of here, please. Oh my god, do I have to- Oh god, I have to shoot people? Oh god, okay. Fuck! Okay, we're just gonna back the fuck up for a second and then just kill all these goddamn walkers. Yep, hey, how's it going, guys? Hey. Uh, nice meeting you. I don't want any autographs right now, but thank you. Oh shit! Oh no! Oh no 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 Okay, we're just gonna- okay, we're just gonna do this now, huh? Okay, that's fine. Just gonna- Fucking hurry up! Come on, Lee! Oh god. It's a game. Oh my goodness. Who is it? Alright, Krista. Alright, alright, thank god. All right, might as well use the axe to save bullets because that's what I've been talking about this entire time. You need knives and axes and shit like that. Blades can save a lot of bullets and um, make things a lot easier for you. Shit. Hey. Oh no. All right. Well, there goes the axe. Come on. Okay. Clem. It's okay. We're okay. It's all right, Clem. I'm fine. Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Why? Yeah. Why? Oh no. Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. The well, what are we right? waiting Is for? Is that what he's thinking go, about? Go. Shit. Um. You guys want to hurry the hell up a little bit? Yeah, okay. Yeah, come on, let's go! What the hell? Oh, 
there's a dude there. <gasps> ben! Fucking hell. God damn it. What? Oh, no, Ben! Ben! I've got you! No! No, Ben's an idiot, but I don't want him to die. Come on, you can do it! There's no time. You have to go now. What? Stick around, ben. Come on. There is time. What are you talking about? Damn it. Get Clem and the others out of here. Leave. What? I'm not leaving you. We both know. No. Oh my god, this kid. Let me go. Okay, pausing once again, sorry. Um, I think the first time I played this game, I didn't I didn't let him go either, and I really don't think that's the best option. I know he thinks that the only way he can redeem himself is if he dies, because he killed, he got Katya and Duck killed, right? But in my opinion, I don't think that's how you redeem yourself, by just killing yourself, because it's, it's essentially like letting yourself go of like the punishment you're supposed to receive. Because... Sure, he's dead then in the end, and then Kenny could be happy about it or whatever, but in this, essentially it doesn't redeem what he did. He could help the group if he just steps the fuck up and stopped acting like an idiot, and proves that he's part of this and he wants to help us. Like he, he was originally thought when he um, was giving the medicine to the bandits and shit. But, I don't know, I just can't let him die, I'm not gonna do it. No, you fucking idiot, you're not dying. Why? Because I care, oh, you dick. Okay. <sighs> Krista. What? Everything okay? Oh me. Oh no. Uh, Clem, stay back. Clem, stay back. Get any closer. Cause so I don't want to be like, is he dead? You know what I mean? I should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> hey, back already? Thank God. We got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. Ah, oh, thank God he's all right. <sighs> you okay, kid? You look worse than I do. We almost didn't make it out of there because of this asshole. Oh my god. Should have left him behind, but we had the chance. Kenny, don't fucking look at me Guys, like that. What the hell happened out there? Let someone else tell you. I got work to do. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. All right. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, dude. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk, in private. Sure. Um, thank you for helping us. Sorry I don't really care about Bree. <laughs> I wanted to thank you for all you've done for us. You're welcome. I'm glad Bree will have died for something meaningful. Mm-hmm. You want to know the worst part? What? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now. This is actually what all the characters of The Walking Dead are like. When someone dies, unless it's like from the main group, like they don't feel anything. Especially Rick. I know you Rick. care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours... Putting everyone on a boat with no destination. Do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? What's because your point? I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands. Take her back with me to my people. We're well supplied. No. Well and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen. We got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays No, you bitch, back off. You. That's what you want for her. No, 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 no. 
I'm gonna pretend you didn't say any of this and give you a chance to walk away, which you ought to do right now. First of all, we don't fucking know you. you. And I, I'm you not gonna leave Clementine with you like that. We wouldn't be having this conversation, but you're not. And staying with you is not what's best for her. Why does everybody if who no th like encounters Lee that, thinks they know I what's will. best for Clementine? Like, fuck off, dude. That little girl's in my care. We've been through more exactly. together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is gonna wind up dead. You hear me? Yeah. Fuck you. Take your hands off. Then don't threaten to take Clementine, you dick. Jesus. I don't get it. Like, why would anyone hand Clementine over to these guys? Like, we don't even know them. And they're old people, they could die, and then Clementine could just, like, you know, die in the, in the fucking sewer as well. And then he says, we're well supplied and whatever. How long is that gonna last? And Clementine doesn't trust them, so I'm pretty sure she wouldn't leave Lee, you know what I mean? God. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks. Yeah. For everything. It's been fun. You're not gonna come with us, though? What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. All right, fair enough. Like, sure as much this? as I want Molly to come with I'm us, sure. she's a badass. I've but always done better on my own, anyhow. It's her choice to come with us or not, and I respect Listen, that. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me. Okay. Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. I hope you we meet too, her again. She was a cool character. I really liked her. Alright, bye, Molly. And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. Good luck. And thanks for Ain't helping us. Luck. Oh, man. I'm gonna miss Molly. <laughs> hey, sweet pea. Kenny's working on the phone. I like her. I like Lee's I nickname for her. It's so cute. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? S uh, somewhere else, I guess. Someplace else. Someplace better. Clem, honey, what's wrong? Is Ben going to be okay? He doesn't seem the same since he got back. I I don't think so, but uh, he feels guilty. That's his problem right now. Ben's a good kid. I think he's just feeling guilty about some. He of the is a good person. He's just an idiot. That's my problem like with him. The rest of us. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? Oh, um, uh, I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. I have Maybe to be honest with stay her. Any longer, it's not safe. Like, what are the chances that her parents are still alive? Even though I know what happens, like, what do you think? Clementine, please don't cry. Hey there. Shh. It's okay. It's oh, okay. fuck. I don't like this. Uh, I don't want her to be sad. I can't lie to her, though. Like, be like, hey, we're going to look for your parents, even though we're not going to do that. You know what I mean? Oh, god damn it. But, but at this rate, like, if we didn't find her in Crawford, like, her parents in Crawford, what are the chances that they're alive? <sighs> Clementine? Uh-oh. Lee, you didn't hear her fucking- oh my goodness. Clementine? Uh-oh. Clem? She took the walkie-talkie, too. Hello? Where the hell is everyone? Clementine? Yo, Clementine! don't yell. Oh my goodness. That's what I'm gonna title this video. Why are you yelling? <laughs> oh, God. Uh-oh. Shit. Her hat. Oh no. Oh no. Ah. Uh. 
Clem, you're just underneath that, right? Clementine, right? Everything's okay, right? Oh god. Hello? Dude, fuck you! Fucking piece of shit, god damn it. No! No. Oh no, it's happening again. No. 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 Oh fuck. Lee? Oh god Lee? damn it. You out here? Lee. Oh no, he's fucking bit. Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? We have to it tell them safe. it's not Lee? right to hide this Where's in my opinion. Time? So I gotta show him. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's mine. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Just help me! I just... I... Just, fucking help me! Clem may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. Yay, We can't okay. let you do this alone. I'm glad. Ken? So that's settled then. Are you... we'll look for I'll just say thank you. Together. I'll just say thank you. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Thanks. I guys. love Persona Mead. I appreciate it. Really. Kenny? Bromance, hey, come on. Man. You know I care about Clementine. And I am a Christian man. And I keep asking myself if this was me asking you for help? Asking you to put your life on the line? Would you be there for me? Because there have been plenty of times when you ain't been. What? Dude, I've always had your back. Please. Kitty man, I'm begging you here. I can't do this alone. I need your help. Please. You might not have been keeping score, Lee, but I have. And you've been looking out for yourself more often than your friends. Well, maybe that's a good thing. Because you're on your own on this Wow! One. Go fuck yourself, you, Kenny. I don't know. Whatever you think is best. Clementine stood up for you, dude. Kenny can go fuck himself now. What the fuck? She stood up for you and Crawford when Kenny wanted you gone. Don't you think you owe it to her to stand up for her now? You're right. I owe her. I swear, before this is all over, I'm gonna show you I can do something right. Good. I'll prove it to you. Thank you. We'll see. Thank you, Ben. Kenny, go fuck yourself. Okay, guys. We should go find Vernon. See if he took her. Let's head out. I'll get the boat out onto the river. Figure I can wait there until you get back. Or at least until I can't I believe fall. this bullshit. You're still gonna take me. Even Ben. Yeah. This this son of a bitch will take Lee, even though he's bit, but he won't help get Clementine. Like, I don't understand this. Wow, on, I'm actually really pissed because the first time I played this game, Kenny came with me. Like, I got everyone to come with me. Can't believe this. What the hell? I'm actually really mad right now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, where's Vernon, you bitch? All right. And they're all gone. Great. I mean, I suspected they would leave since Crawford is not like um, owned by those people anymore, so Where the hell are it they? would make sense. Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Mhm. Mm Vernon, get out here. There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. 
Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. They're gone, Lee. Uh oh. The the walker like bites or when you get infected, it depends how it's not like known how long it will take for you to turn. It just like varies between people. And this is probably what Vernon was talking about earlier. He's when he asked if we came from the train. Cause I'm pretty sure we're the ones who brought the horde over, you know what I mean? The creepy guy, good. Who is this? Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. You're fucking dead. What do you want from me? Damn it. <laughs> ah, episode five! Here's the last episode! Okay. That was interesting. So, my god, I'm still so pissed about Kenny. I can't believe he said that. Anyway, 74% of uh, people chose to kill the boy in the attic. Oh no, I'm sorry. 66% of people were honest with Vernon when, we, when he asked us about Clementine. And 73% uh, of us brought Clementine with us. Uh, 66 helped Ben survive, so still that's pretty low compared to what I thought was going to happen, but anyway, 80% of people showed their bite to the group, which is, which is good, because, like, that's what I wanted to do, because I felt like that's the only way to be honest with the group, right? You can't just, like, fucking lie about these kind of things. They're going to find out eventually. Who came with you? 14%. Wow, okay, so majority, the highest one is with just Kenny and Lee, but I cannot fucking believe Kenny fucking told me that I never had his back. I had always stepped up for Kenny. I did everything for him when his family got fucked. Like, what, the whole situation with his family. Like, I did everything for him. And th this man has the nerve to tell me that I was only looking out for myself. Literally ruined the bromance. Can't believe this. <laughs> Oh my god. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this episode of The Walking Dead, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to join the companions. And remember to hit that bell button because I noticed that people sometimes don't get my videos in their sub, sub box for some reason. Because YouTube is wonderful. But anyway, we're going to return next Friday with the final episode of The Walking Dead Season 1. And then we'll hop on to Season 2 and then Season 3. I'm really excited uh, about second season. But I'm very emotionally attached to the last episode of this season, so I'll probably cry. Anyway, <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! We told you <laughs> not to go in there. <laughs> Why does Sam look like an elf? Oh my god, I'm sorry, I'm making fun of him right now. Ew, and there's like fingerprints and everything.